that's always, always found right next to some diapers. But now, if I can't match these doors, I have to replace the entire kitchen. We'll go down there in a minute. There were five contractor bags full of expensive liquor. Bombay, Sapphire. We already re removed one full dumpster of garbage. We also found three dead kittens in here. They just abandoned the kittens and they died. This is, this is who you guys on TikTok claim that we're being so mean. We landlords are so vicious and greedy and we're hoarding these properties and ransoming them. This is, this is what we have to deal with, guys. Look at that. You think that can be reused? This was locked. Someone decided to, you know, kick it in. They would not install the new window. That was shot out. This is now because they ripped everything. They stole the AC and they ripped out the box. We don't even know if this is okay. We might have to have that replaced. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off. Find a place with the view. The pain is never gonna stop. All right, so this is one of our fun-loving evictions we had to do before. Actually, these people skipped. They quit paying rent. They skipped out. And I'm about to show you all what we so-called greedy landlords and property managers have to deal with. As you see, this was locked. Someone decided to, you know, kick it in. And people like to store their trash and everything else in here. That's just a garage. Let's go take a look at the air conditioning, shall we? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nope. Someone decided to take that with them, I guess. So now we're down in AC. Nice door. Oh, I'm completely missing. Here we go. There's the front door. They actually had busted the glass to the point I had to board it up so they didn't break in. We'll go down there in a minute. Here we go. This is how they left it. Tell me more, guys. Landlord's got to watch out for that because we don't know what that could be. That could be anything. You have to take caution with it because you never know. Moving along. Cabinets are destroyed. Under the sink. Destroyed. Moving along. See, this stuff, this isn't, this isn't normal wear and tear. This is purposefully broken. Okay, purposely broken. Over here. Also, I want you guys to understand and keep in mind for a second. Hang on. I got one hand here. That this house had three children in it. Three children. This is the dining room. We already re removed one full dumpster of garbage. And I'll tell you why in a second, but this is it. We always get left stuff like that. Bullet hole. Bullet hole. Now I said that we had already a dumpsters worth full of trash. This entire living room was destroyed and they would not install the new window that was shot out. They wouldn't install that until they at least had this area was, was cleaned. There was a couch in it. It was disgusting. I'll put up still photos at the end of this video, and you'll see what this room looked like. Unfortunately, we also found three dead kittens in here. They just abandoned the kittens, and they died. This window was shot out. We had to have it replaced. As you can see, it's brand new. That was about $700. Moving over to this door, that's cracked. They didn't get in, and I've secured this one, so that's good. Let's take us a little walk, though. This is the living room. 
coming into the hallway. Well, I guess the closet door didn't need to be there anymore. Remember, children lived in this home. Here's one of the kids' rooms. Keep in mind, too, guys, that this is this is mattress number one, okay? I want you to keep that in mind because that's something we have to deal with. This room had dressers in it. We used the dumpster to get that out to fill up the dumpster. So when you see stuff like this in a house, that means that they were smoking uh, a, lot of, a lot of weed or cigarettes. Now, moving along, we have... Um, they stole the air conditioner from downstairs, and then they ripped and broke this and destroyed it. Why? I don't know. And then for good measure, they they did a little custom, custom wall work there. Moving on, here's the bathroom. The cats that were staying in here, unfortunately, were pooping in the sit in there. Look at this. All right. This is the closet. Yeah, not too bad in there. Let's go to the master suite, the boudoir. I guess someone tried to run away from their man and he wasn't having it, so that's destroyed. Oh yeah. Nice 1867. Those things are so heavy too, guys. And, and keep in mind, again, we already threw a lot of stuff out because we wanted to fill the dumpster up, okay? Put nail polish on the walls, wrecked it. This is it. This is the bed that they left in here. This is mattress number two. Coming along. Like that. Moving into this room. This room wasn't too, too bad. Now, we couldn't pay the rent, but we had five TVs in this house, but we couldn't pay the rent. Because us landlords, we're, we're mean. Access panel's gone. I don't even know where that's at. Look at this. This is, oh, there's the access panel. Okay. This door is okay, but that's only three doors we have to replace. Carpet shot. This was new carpet. They had stayed here, by the way, for a year and a half. They signed a two-year lease, stayed for a year and a half. These French doors, these are very old, and they're destroyed, and I can't replace these. I'd have to replace the whole unit. Now, in here, there was a, at the time, and I said, we'll put up stills, there was a kitchen table. There were five contractor bags full of expensive liquor. Bombay, Sapphire, uh, uh, Johnny Walker Blue. Uh, just a lot of expensive liquor, nothing from the, you know, the, the store, the corner store, nothing like that. All right. So lastly, as we come through this house, we come down here and we have the basement. Some more custom wall work here. And then we have, cover this up here. There you go. This is what they leave us with. This is the electric, the electric. Look at that. I don't know how you allow it to get that, that bad. $3,000 though. Oh my God, I wish you guys could smell. Wow. This is the basement. Oh man, does it stink. It smells like dog and hot ass and piss. Moving along. There's mattress number three. Look at this. Moving into this room. I don't know if I'm going to be able to turn the light. There we go. This is now because they ripped everything, they stole the AC and they ripped out the box. We don't even know if this is okay. We might have to have that replaced. Uh, left the 
appliances here. Look at this, guys. Three kids lived in this house with, a, with the mom and the dad and boy, and then the mom and boyfriend. Look at this. This is, this is who you guys on TikTok claim that we're being so mean. We landlords are so vicious and greedy, and we're hoarding these properties and ransoming them. This is, this is what we have to deal with, guys. Look at that. You think that can be reused? How about, how about that? There's mattress number four. Knock wood, at least, at least I didn't get the copper yet. And this is what we deal with, guys. This is what landlords have to deal with on a daily basis. When you guys complain that your rent's too high, this is why your rent's high. Because I'm going to take, the rent on this is $10,800 a year at $900 a month. I'm going to take probably an $8,000 loss. And the first year of a good tenant, I'm going to lose $8,000 to rehab this and re-rent it. Again, you guys pretend and think that it's just all about profit. And unfortunately, the TV doesn't, doesn't help you. There's the door that was busted. They just threw it down here. The TV doesn't help you because... They tell you on HGTV, you know, that there's money to be made and it's flipper's paradise. And now this is the real reality. Okay. So I got more dumpsters. We're going to have to order. There's doors that are shattered. They're down here. The, the water was shut off and I think they put a lock on it. Moving on again over here because this is disgusting. This is pure disgusting. Just, just beyond. This is beyond. This is truly, truly beyond. But these are the tenants that you guys are champions for. These are the tenants that you guys champion. That you say are hardworking, just trying to get by. Housing is a right and not a privilege. This is what they do. This is how it's a right and not a privilege. They did this when they left. And then I had to come do that because this glass is gone. There's, there's no glass there. Okay. But this is, this is what you guys call the privilege. Or right, I mean. You said everyone has a right to live in a house like this. I shouldn't be allowed to charge money for the rent here. This should be free. This should be free it's for somebody. That's how you guys feel. That window alone was $800 just for that middle section because they had to do the whole new window. It used to be a very thick piece of beveled glass. The glass they couldn't get for a month and it was going to cost about $600. It's easier just to put a new window in. That way it can be upgraded and fixed later. But look at this. We got diapers, children's toys. Pills, pill containers, drugs, no needles yet. But again, we had dead kittens in here underneath the table. Horrifyingly. In this room right here, guys, there was an Elmo doll on the bed. And when we grabbed it, it had a condom stuck to it. Problem is, there was blood on it. This was a child's room. So God only knows what that's about. We called the local police. They didn't care. But to take it all in, guys, I wish you could smell it. That's supposed to be white. And they were only here a year and a half. That's supposed to be white. Children lived in this. Little girls. They were all little girls. They, little girls lived in this. Oh, there's another door missing. Take it in. Good stuff, huh? This is a, should be a, it's a right. Housing is a right. Who, just curious, who do you think would fix this? If housing is a right, who do you think should fix this? You think all this is free? This room right here, 
it's going to cost probably $1,500 for the carpet and the walls to be done, the trim to be replaced, and everything taken out of here with the dumpsters, plural, more than one. That's just the one room. Then you have this room. I have to replace windows because they destroyed them. Uh, there's any, any property manager and landlord will tell you, we know that that's always, always found right next to some diapers. But now if I can't match these doors, I have to replace the entire kitchen. I'm sure this works, right? Look at that. People lived in here. Children lived in here. And I know what you guys are going to say. Well, that must be in the ghetto. I'm going to show you what kind of neighborhood it is. But here we go. They stole the AC unit outside. Stole it. Just took it. That's about three grand right there. It has to line up to the heat coil in the in the uh, inside unit. It has to be the same the same rate, and the government changed all that, so might have to change the furnace because of that. This, some, something happened. There's no power out here at all. I don't know what happened, what they did. But this is the neighborhood that it's in. This is not a bad neighborhood, guys. This is a very nice neighborhood. There's children playing. This is not a bad neighborhood. I don't know what this is about. They just took out my fence. I guess that was okay. This is the neighborhood, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.